While COVID-19 cases have dropped off gently from the July peak, they still remain high. The virus is widespread, and while most cases are mild, it still kills people every day. 93 deaths recorded so far this month. COVID-19 has now become the most studied disease in history, with new discoveries still coming even now and even here in our own backyard. THP 11's Ian Russell shows us the alarming link a UAMS researcher found between the virus and heart disease. Yeah, this was not a study that had a small sample size. A UAMS researcher and his team combed through hundreds of thousands of patient records, and what they found out is giving us a better glimpse of the side effects of COVID-19. Every researcher dreams of that big discovery. So our study was really, it was actually the first um, nationally representative study that included uh, a nationally representative sample. Few can do it as fast as Dr. Hussam Salah. I finished training in uh, internal medicine residency just this June. The chief resident in the Department of Medicine at UAMS is part of a team focused on one thing, your heart and how COVID-19 affects it. What they found left the doctor concerned but not surprised. Their research shows a jump in heart failure from those who've had COVID, and it's not a small jump. As you can see, all, all different um, age groups, uh, uh, sex and races had increased risk, so this is a really concerning trend. Previously hospitalized patients under 65 had a 53% higher risk of heart failure over 65, and that number is at 38%. White patients had a higher risk of having heart failure compared to non-white patients. Combing through the nearly 600,000 patient files took a while. Dr. Salah says the dots were there, they just needed to be connected. And just like how the patient files are growing, so too are the subvariants of COVID. Our group is trying to see how we can actually address that. We could not determine the variants and their uh, individual association with the heart failure. Dr. Salah's work isn't done yet. After discovery comes the need to spread awareness. Once you have it, and then once you're recovered from it, you don't think about the long-term complications. And it's a message he hopes won't be ignored. We all know that the vaccine might not prevent the infection completely, but at least it decreased the severity of the infection. And th this might decrease the risk of having uh, uh, cardiac complications, including uh, heart failure. In Little Rock, Ian Russell, THV 11 News. Another thing that stuck out to the doctor was how much the inflammation or how much inflammation the coronavirus can cause. Other researchers have noticed it too. And while it cannot explain everything we're learning about COVID, it does explain a lot.